Hey y'all, hey, it's Saturday, June 24th, and it's finally time to start canning. So, so this morning I went to the farmer's market, it's the uh, North Carolina State Farmer's Market in Raleigh, and it is massive. Now, I didn't take any video, mainly because I forgot my camera in the car, but it was also packed, jam-packed with people. You know, usually I go with my friend and we go at like 8 o'clock in the morning. This time we went at like 11, a bad idea. I went to the farmer's market, I've got stuff to can, I'm very excited. First preserving of the season, let's see, I'm making uh, mostly savory this time, but the one sweet thing I am doing is uh, blackberry jam. It's gonna be delicious. You know, I didn't think I liked blackberries and then I had one, uh, like a really ripe one, flavors incredible. So I got blackberry jam, it'll be a small batch of that. Pickled green beans, which I make every year, one of my favorites. Dill, garlic dill pickles with cucumbers from my garden. Just a few of them, uh, not not the whole thing. I got definitely got some more cucumbers, but I'll be using the cucumbers from my garden and the dill. That's some coriander seed. I'm very excited. And last but not least, uh, this is kind of an odd one, but uh, candied chilies. It's like sweet and sour and salty, spicy, all my favorite things. Uh, I think it'll be good, but we'll see. I got a bunch of peppers, some not so hot, some hotter. Um, I go back and forth on canning pepper, hot, spicy stuff, but uh, why not? Let's see. Okay, there's a lot to do, and I really got to wash all these fruits and vegetables first. Um, so let me do that, and then we can actually start canning in earnest. talk real quick about recipes. So I'm a big proponent of using recipes for canning. It's a kind of a science thing, you know, you need to get the ratio of acid to water right in these recipes, otherwise you'll, you know, kill yourself with botulism. So I'm a big fan of using recipes and not deviating a whole lot from them. So let me show you what I like. I've got four books here that I swear by year after year. I, this is the third year in a row I've used the same set of four. Preserving by the Pint, it's small batch stuff. Um, I love that because sometimes you can't get a hold of a whole lot of something or it's expensive, like the blackberries that I got today, for instance. They are five dollars, no, yeah, five dollars for a little, um, no, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm like two for five for the little uh, containers. And it's a little high, but the, you know, the taste is fantastic. And it's not a whole lot of them. So having something like this that doesn't require, or the recipe doesn't require four or five pounds of something, Super helpful. The Preservation Kitchen. Um, I like this one because it's more than just pickles and jams and jellies. It's got mustardas and it's got compotes and ketchups and all sorts of interesting things that maybe you wouldn't think to do, but that's one of the things that I've enjoyed so much about preserving, that there's so many things you can do with these fruits and vegetables that maybe you wouldn't have thought about before. So that's a good one if you like mustards, um, dips, spreads, anything like that. Saving the season is stellar. It is a, I will say, it's sort of a basic guide, but the recipes are elevated in many ways. So there will be like a blueberry jam, but there will also be a blueberry cordial and a blueberry lavender butter. I don't know, I made that up, that's not a thing. But you get the idea. There's basic recipes and then he builds on them to make these really elegant, beautiful things as well. There's a number of uh, liqueurs in here and I have made the plum liqueur before and it's delicious. So if you like a variety of things, I like how it has like little tips and notes about things, sort of old world knowledge passed down. Mm. Can't recommend this one enough. And then last but not least, Mrs. Wheelbarrow's Practical Pantry is everything. Pause this video, go to Amazon, maybe I'll put a link for all these below. Uh, this is the book, you want to get this, especially if you've never canned before. I had a little bit of experience and I still find it extremely valuable. It's so helpful. 
with about how to get started. They're all fairly helpful about getting started, but this one does the best job in my opinion. Once you get going, it's got lots of variations, nothing too, too crazy, like Saving the Season has some more out there stuff. I also like this has pressure canning, so if you wanna learn how to can tuna or do things that are low acid, this is that for you, and it also has uh, curing and cheeses. So it's like a whole preserving Bible. I swear by this book, it's the first book I pull out when it's canning season. Um, I, I can't recommend this one enough. And this is a recommendation. I think I heard it on KCRW's Good Food Podcast. So uh, this is, comes highly recommended from lots of places.